I'll be sharing about quantum key distribution. But before I delve into that, let's take a look at the rapid advancement of quantum computers. The term quantum computers has been suggested by Feynman about 30 years ago, but only in recent years, more and more big players like Google, IBM, Microsoft are investing millions of dollars, if not billions, into quantum computers. Just this year, Google together with IBM and Intel has a 72 qubits computer. Google termed that quantum supremacy, which refers to the point where a quantum computer can crunch sums that a conventional classical computer in your home could not perform such calculations. A qubit can be thought of like an imaginary sphere. On the other hand, a classical bit can be in two states at either two poles of the sphere whereas a qubit can be at any point in the sphere. What this means is a computer using these quantum bits can store a huge amount more information using less energy than your laptop at home. However, the quantum curve in future isn't going to come easy. And we have no idea how it will look like when quantum computer does arrive. Quantum computing takes advantage of the storage ability of subatomic particles to exist in more than one state at any time. After all, these tiny particles are extremely fragile and it will be a challenge to maintain its stability. Qubits have to be well isolated in a controlled condition. If not, the state of qubits decay and becomes useless. Quantum computers are well suited to factorize very large prime numbers since prime numbers are so important into cryptography. It is highly likely all of the current public key crypto protocols will eventually be exacerbated by the coming quantum computers, which promise to crack even the most secure system by today's standard. This is a major security breach. Clearly, there is a need for a new cybersecurity paradigm. What we need now is to find ways to generate and distribute symmetric crypto keys based on quantum key distribution. For these, I am looking into the weird world of quantum physics, in which QKD is impervious to quantum computers. Well, I am able to detect man in the middle or intrusion inside a fiber network. With this increasing population, there are more and more underground infrastructure. Thus, with QKD, we are independent of GPS and adverse weather conditions as GPS can be spoofed. There are two types of QKD. First is the BB84, which is named after Bennett and Brassard, and the second one is the entanglement based QKD. The entangled photon source can be operated by a third party service provider like a telecommunication company like Singtel. And the high photon wavelength is split into two lower wavelength photons, and this photon pair is separated but remain correlated. And these highly correlations are also known as your quantum entanglement. This core technology of this has highly correlated over long distances in time and in polarization. So what is interesting is that we can use our Singtel's existing fiber infrastructure and characterize fiber infrastructure around Singapore rather than outlaying new fibers across the country, which will be very costly. So what is a photon? A photon is extremely specific about the colors of light. Photons are light particles which can be used to encode messages. The fiber network acts as our quantum communication channel from point A to point B. Lots of wonderful optical fibers exist at communication wavelength at 1310 and 1550 nanometer. This is an example of an entanglement based QKD setup in which the entanglement photon source is placed in between both end users. The detectors at each end will detect one of the twin photon from the middle source through a spool of fiber. In conclusion, we need to weigh out the pros and cons of using fiber network and satellite QKD. There is no competition here between the two. If you want to send keys within the country, you use fiber QKD. On the other hand, if you want to send keys across borders to another country, 
you can use satellite QKD. Hence, both are complements to each other. The key to going global is using satellite QKD to send keys worldwide. The con of this is that you need a line of sight and it must not have too much sunlight to measure. This is really happening. The quantum computer is coming. We do not know how long it takes, but we should remember that it is going to be very powerful than any computational device that you are using right now today. Power that we won't be able to fully utilize until future generation and us truly understand such system. Thank you.